What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's episode we got another fun garage project ahead of us. You won't want to miss this one. So tonight I'm going to be going over to Drew's house. We do this uh, a couple times a month. Uh, there was one time we did almost every weekend. Uh, myself, the missus will go over there, hang out with Drew, his wife, and uh, have, some, uh, have a cookout, have some fun. Here we have... Uh, my famous steak marinade and by famous i mean it's famous on google where i got the recipe i went on there uh looked up the best steak marinade it's on google i'll, I'll put the link down in the description because this thing is that good uh it's got worcestershire it's got soy sauce it's got garlic it's got italian seasonings this stuff is mwah, tray magnifique. so for those of you that watch the channel on a regular basis you'll know that i have the s550 2017 Mustang RTR Spec 2 project going on out in the garage where I'm converting it from a first gen S550 into a second gen S550. Now, if you've been tuning in and out of the channel, you may not know why. And one of those reasons why is because in 2019 or 2018, I can't remember, it was the year that I started with RTR. 2020 has thrown everybody off to where I can barely remember when I was born. That year, my car was hit twice. Not as a result of my fault, but I got T-boned once I got hit, and the other time the missus got hit while driving the car. So in my mind, it lost all value at that point in time because it's got two accidents, two repairs on its record. So I saw, it, you know what? Let's do something crazy. Let's flip it over to a second gen. Let's start replacing all the parts. Let's do our own thing with the vehicle. Well, I kept a lot of the original parts even after the accident. One reason is because I know a lot of people like to get the emblems and then copy them and then put them for sale. So for RTR, I was trying to protect that. And then for the second reason, I, I kind of wanted to keep that. It's a little bit of my car, a little bit of my memory, a little bit of my love. What got me started with RTR? Why would you throw that away? You don't throw that away. So we have some parts out in the garage that I want to put a little, almost like a memorial plaque to the original version of the car. And it's gonna just sit right behind the car when it's parked in there. I think it, when it's lit up and everything, it'll be pretty sweet. So we're gonna run to Lowe's real quick, pick up some parts, and we're gonna get started on that build right now. Got the new prototype spoiler mocked up here, ready to go. I think it's gonna hold up pretty nice. Actually, no, I went by Lowe's and I picked this up. I'm gonna be building the display case for the RTR parts. Now, if you're thinking, wow, that looks kind of thin and it looks kind of cheap, that's because it is for two reasons. One, because I'm cheap and two, because I need it to be lightweight because it's gonna be hanging out on the garage wall and I don't want this thing to fall off once I start adding the parts to it. Just got back from Lowe's, went to pick up some more screws and some lighting and look at this. Oh my goodness, I replaced those bulbs, these ones here. This one here is a regular fluorescent. This one here is the LED fluorescence. Um, underneath the camera, the LED looks better, but by the eye, I think the fluorescent shines more light within the garage, but I'm definitely liking it. Yes, I know, I just organized the garage and cleaned it, and it's a mess. But that's because we are already halfway through our project. I haven't really been filming that much of it. All I did is I went and got a piece of this thin plywood from Lowe's, some small boards. I got some two by fours here as backing in the corners and along the edges. And I'm just gonna frame this whole thing up. And then we're going to start putting our RTR parts. I got my grills and some other stuff over there. We're gonna start placing on this after it's painted. So I'm gonna keep knocking away at this and I will bring you guys back in once we got everything fully shaped. I have the frame made up and the backing. Um, this is just kind of really quick put together. So I wouldn't say that it's a number one quality, but it's not too bad. Paint's kind of still drying right now. I'll probably go back through at a later date and time and wrap this maybe in some type of fabric through here and maybe put like a felt down in through here. Funny enough, I had all that stuff just a few days ago uh, when I started cleaning out this garage and then I threw it away because I did not think I would need it. So we're gonna let this dry just a little bit more and then we're gonna start organizing our parts over here. Just as a quick breakdown of what we have, we have uh, some tactical performance struts. We have the shocks back here with one of the prototype shock mounts. So those were only on, I believe my car and a couple cars before mine and then those are switched out. We have the lower grill from the first gen S550, the upper grill, as you can see, these are cracked, like I said, from my accident. We do have the LEDs, uh, a section of my chin spoiler, and then we have the original 
F-150 LED lights for the F-150. I do have some fender flares, but I mean, there's no need to try and overdo it with this. It's just some quick mementos and stuff. I do have the original GT emblem off the back of the car, as well as this sprocket from inside. I might see if there's a way, I probably should measure it a little bit better to fit my original rear diffuser off of the Grabber Blue car on there. Um, I didn't even think of that. So I might not even be putting the F-150 lights up on there. The F-150 might go on another thing. We'll see though. Well, here it is. It's not done yet. We still got a little bit to go. I don't like how you can see like the grain in the back, but maybe that's just me. We got the RTR parts down here. I was gonna put the F-150 lights on there, but then I realized that the majority of this here is Mustang, so it'd be a little weird to have F-150. So we're gonna put the grill up there run the wiring so we can get the lights up and then uh get it hanging up here on this wall finishing up in here i had these old walkie talkies from an old job and this was the charging station what i did was i took it apart because i was able to get the plug from the charger and run that up into here run it back behind and hook it up to the light so the lights will power on when i plug that in it actually looks pretty neat lit up Got the shift knob from the original car, the lower grill, part of the chin spoiler. We have the oil sprocket gear. We also have one of the piston rods and then the original diffuser that was on the car as well as the original GT label. So it's kind of neat. It's still drying. Is it grade A number one? No, it's not, but it's a cool little art piece for this garage and I'm kind of liking it. So we got more lights up in the garage. We do have the RTR little display case up here from the old car. That was done. Really quick video, something nice to continue to spruce up the garage area here. I'm kind of liking this piece. I originally had it black, as you guys know, from earlier in the video. And then Drew said, hey, you know what? Paint that background silver or white or something to make the parts really pop off of it. It was a good choice. So I'm kind of glad I went with you on this one, Drew. Um, you know, normally I'm the right one, but uh, you got this one right. Thank you for tuning into this episode. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of the fun garage stuff we, that we do here, whether it's little projects like this or working on the BMW over here. Uh, make sure to give us a big thumbs up to let us know that you like what we're doing. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.